In this video, we are going to discuss a few problems based on a special type of redox reaction known as the disproportionation reaction. So let's look at the first question. It says, which among the following will undergo a disproportionation reaction? And the species that we have here are SFO2 minus, ClO2 minus, NO3 minus and S3PO2. Now, in order to solve this question, we need to look at the oxidation state of the central element in each of these species. Okay. In the first case, we have sulfate ion, SFO2 minus, and here we can see that the oxidation state of sulfur here is plus 6. You can easily calculate it by yourself. Now, will this species undergo disproportionation reaction? Well, you see, in a typical disproportionation reaction, the element in an oxidation state gets simultaneously oxidized and reduced. And for this to happen, the element must be in its intermediate oxidation state. Now based on that, do you think the sulphate ion would disproportionate? Well, the answer is no. Because sulphur is in the plus 6 oxidation state and it is the highest possible oxidation state that sulphur can have. That is, it cannot be further oxidized. And because it is in the highest oxidation state of plus 6, sulphate ion cannot undergo disproportionation reaction but can definitely act as a strong oxidizing agent. And by acting as an oxidizing agent, it can undergo reduction and change into a lower oxidation state. So clearly, as far as disproportionation reaction is concerned, sulphate ion is not a great candidate. Let's now look at the second species, ClO2-. Now the oxidation state of chlorine in ClO2- is plus 3 and the highest oxidation state that chlorine can achieve is plus 7 and the lowest oxidation state is minus 1 because we know that chlorine is a halogen and minus 1 is one of its most common oxidation states. So clearly you can see that in ClO2- chlorine has an intermediate oxidation state which means it can undergo disproportionation reaction. So what does that reaction look like? 6 ClO2 minus disproportionates to 4 ClO3 minus plus 2 Cl minus. Here as you can see, the plus 3 oxidation state in ClO2 minus changes to plus 5 oxidation state in ClO3 minus and minus 1 oxidation state in Cl minus. So regarding ClO2 minus, it is a yes. So let's now look at the next species which is NO3 minus nitrate ion. And here the oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 5. Now for nitrogen, this is the highest possible oxidation state of plus 5. That means it cannot be further oxidized. And because of that, just like sulphate ion here, nitrate ion cannot undergo disproportionation reaction but can act as a very good oxidizing agent and move to lower oxidation states. Let's look at the last species which is H3PO2. Now the oxidation state of phosphorus in H3PO2 is plus 1. Now this plus 1 is an intermediate oxidation state for phosphorus. H3PO2 can easily undergo disproportionation reaction where the oxidation state of phosphorus can change from plus 1 to plus 3 oxidation state as well as plus 1 to minus 3 oxidation state. So let's see what that reaction looks like. So I don't have any space here so I'm going to write it down here. So this is the disproportionation reaction of H3PO2. As you can see here, the phosphorus which is in plus 1 oxidation state changes to minus 3 oxidation state in phosphine and to plus 3 oxidation state in phosphorus acid. So to conclude, H3PO2 also undergoes disproportionation reaction. Let's look at the next question. It says, which among the following is a disproportionation reaction? So we know that in a disproportionation reaction, an element in an intermediate oxidation state is simultaneously oxidized and reduced. So let's go ahead and see which among these reactions have the element in the reacting species in three different oxidation states. Now the first reaction is the reaction of nitric acid with copper. Now in this reaction, the oxidation state of copper changes from 0 to plus 2. And nitrogen in nitric acid is in plus 5 oxidation state and it reduces or decreases to plus 2 in NO. But other than that, you can't see any other element which has three different oxidation state, right? Different elements are undergoing oxidation and reduction, but you can't see one element undergoing both oxidation and reduction simultaneously. 
So this is not a disproportionation reaction. This is an oxidation reaction where nitric acid is acting as an oxidizing agent and oxidizes copper to copper nitrate while itself getting reduced to Na. So this is not a disproportionation reaction. Alright, let's look at the next one. The next reaction has 2NO2 plus 2OH minus forming NO2 minus plus NO3 minus plus H2O. So this indeed is a disproportionation reaction where nitrogen in NO2 which is in plus 4 oxidation state disproportionates into NO2 minus where nitrogen has plus 3 oxidation state and NO3 minus where the oxidation state is plus 5. So you can see that nitrogen has undergone reduction as well as oxidation simultaneously from plus 4 to plus 3 it reduces and from plus 4 to plus 5 it is getting oxidized. So clearly you can see that NO2 undergoes disproportionation in alkaline medium. Alright let's look at the next one. So at a glance you might be tempted to conclude that this is a disproportionation reaction because you can see fluorine occurring repeatedly in F2 and F- and OF2 but please don't do that. We have to look at the oxidation state and see if the oxidation state is changing or not. Okay, so here the oxidation state of fluorine is 0 and in alkaline medium you can see that it changes to minus 1 oxidation state here in 2F minus. But what is the oxidation state of fluorine in OF2? The oxidation state of fluorine in OF2 is also minus 1, obviously, right, because fluorine is the most electronegative element it cannot exhibit any positive oxidation state. So here fluorine is acting as an oxidizing agent and undergoes reduction. The oxidation state changes from 0 to minus 1 but you cannot change it from 0 to any positive number. Because of this it cannot undergo a disproportionation reaction. In fact fluorine is the only halogen that cannot undergo a disproportionation reaction. All other halogens will undergo disproportionation reaction in alkaline medium. Alright, let's now look at the last question. H2O2 gives 2H2O and oxygen. Oxidation number of oxygen in hydrogen peroxide is minus 1. Remember guys, it is minus 1 and not minus 2 which is the most common oxidation state of oxygen. Now here it is minus 2 and here it is 0. So you can see that the oxidation state of oxygen changes from minus 1 to minus 2 as well as from minus 1 to 0. So in one case it is reducing and in one case it undergoes oxidation. So hydrogen peroxide also undergoes disproportionation reaction.